Hello and welcome to WASP 3D Feature Tutorial. In this tutorial, users will learn how to create a scroller with data linked to an UDT. Some new features, which allow faster production of graphics, like self-tag and master and slave functionality will be discussed as well. We begin by creating a rectangle for a scroller base. From the parameters pool, we adjust the height and width of the rectangle and then place it at the bottom. Next, we create a scroller node and a scroller group. We also create a 3D text. Now, let's make the 3D text the child of the scroller group, and the scroller group, the child of the scroller node. Press F2 to rename. Next, select scroller and adjust its width from the parameters pool. We now create a circle, to be a separator between the text. Again, adjust the size and position of the circle. We can change the color of the circle and the text as desired. Now, select the scroller and move it down. From the track view, shortcut key F7, add control keys to start and stop the scroller. Notice how the start scroller, pause infinite and the stop scroller have been put in place. Also, make multiple copies of the scroller group. There should be no point of time, where all scroller groups are on the viewport. If the text length is small, make more copies. To do so, right-click on the scroller group and select copy. Here we have created four copies. As the length of the text can vary, positional link the text to avoid overlapping. To do so, select text, go to parameters pool, select link type and link it in x-axis. Next, we go to the UDT tab. From the file menu, we create a new UDT. Specify UDT name and press OK to continue. Next, press insert key on the keyboard to create a new table. Define column name and change its attributes from the right side panel. Save schema. Now, from the Data Entry tab, we enter data to the UDT. Users can enter data to the UDT from Sting Client or Data Buzz as the UDT are saved on KC.
Next, we go to the Design tab. Press F8 to open the variable sheet. Create UDT add-in. Browse UDT. Here, we will change the row per page to 1. Check the auto update on, to get real-time data update from UDT. Now, we shall link the data fields to the UDT. But before we do that, we will go to each scroller group and add the tag value in parameters pool. Any object name or string defined in the tag property of an object can be used as a target of an action. Select the scroller node and right click. Go to events and select on scroller. Scroller events. We will add actions on head in, as we want data fields to change or update before it enters the viewport. Select set param from actions, to link value of text to UDT. Select target as self tag. As we have already mentioned tag value for each scroller in parameters pool. Next, define the type of object from the list, text 3D in this case and object param text. Link it with UDT column. Next, select Record Move Control Action, and set UDT table to record next. Record Moves gives two cases success and failure. Success, if there is more data in source file or it will return a failure on last page. Now, we will add a stop scroller action on failure. If UDT is in loop mode, there will never be a last page, hence no failure event. If abort is check on, scroller will disappear on last page with a snap. If it is off, last page will scroll out of the viewport till the end. Exit switch case and add action. Now, select all scroller group and drag drop it on scroller group 1. This will copy all the events on the other groups. So, if the user makes any changes to the parent group, it will automatically reflect in child nodes. This is known as master-slave functionality. Please note that any change in the master or slave node actions would update the actions for all nodes. User can right-click on node and select break to remove the relation. When all the actions are removed, from either master or slave, it also removes the relationship between nodes. Q and play to see the output. Here we can see the outputs of the various scenarios.
Data in UDT can be entered from Sting Client or Data Buzz. <laughs>